Hey everyone, welcome back to my tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to create an animated star field effect using HTML canvas and JavaScript. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Open your code editor. Let's create an HTML file. I will call it, index.html. Let's quickly declare the doc type, and, start the HTML code, using HTML tag. I will give this page, a title. Now, in the body tag, create a canvas element, with ID as stars. Create a script tag, where we will give a reference, to our JavaScript file. Time to write the JavaScript. Create a JavaScript file. I will call it, sketch.js. Let's declare the DOM selector. We will create a reference to the canvas, using getElementById method. Use the getContext function, which will give us access, to all 2D drawing functions. Declare the variables, screen, and, star array, which we will use, later in the program. Let's declare the param object, which will control the properties of our animation. For now, we will keep the speed of star, to 10, count to 400, and, life to 5. Let's declare a star function, which will work as a constructor, for our star object. Now we will give our star, random, x, y, and, z positions. For x, and, z positions, we will multiply math random, by width of the canvas. Similarly, for the y position, we will multiply math random, by height of the canvas. Declare a move function, which will move our stars, on the canvas. We will subtract the speed parameter, from the z position.
If the stars move out of the canvas, we will set their Z position, to the value of width of our canvas. Now, declare a show function, where we will actually display our stars. Let's declare variables, x, y, radius, and opacity. The radius of star would be, canvas width, divided by, its Z position. Note that, the screen.c array, that we are going to use now, will be declared later. It will contain two values, half of window width, and half of window height. Let's define the X position. We will subtract the half window width, from previously generated random X position, and multiply the whole expression, by radius. Let's add the half window width to X position, to center the stars horizontally. Same goes for Y position. We will subtract the half window height, from previously generated random Y position, and multiply the whole expression, by radius. Add the half screen height to Y position, to center the stars vertically. For the opacity, we will use ternary operator. If radius of star, is greater than its life, we will set its opacity to this expression. Else, we will set the opacity to 1. This will create a soft fading effect, as the star comes, towards us. Now, to draw on the canvas, we use context's begin path method, to draw a path. Set the fill style to RGBA White With our custom opacity, by concatenating the string Use the arc method, to create a circular path, with the, X, and, Y position, radius, starting angle as, 0 radians, and, ending angle as, 2 pi radians. Use the fill method, to fill the path with color. Now we will declare a separate, setup function, where we will set up canvas, and create the stars. Let's use the screen variable, declared earlier, as an object, which will contain, width and height, of the window, and the C, array.
Now, we will use the cancel animation frame method to cancel the current animation, if any. Let's set the canvas's width and height to windows width and height. Assign an empty array to our star array variable, which was declared earlier. We will use a for loop, which will run for params.count times, which are the number of stars. Assign each eye position, in the star array, a new star. Let's create an update function, where we will show, and move our stars. But first, we will create a black background, on which, the stars will render. Set the fill style, to black. Now, create a filled rectangle, using fill rect method. The first two parameters are the starting position of rectangle, while, last two are the ending position. Now, we will iterate through the star array, to call the show and move functions, declared in the star function. We will use the request animation frame method to render the whole animation. Let's call the setup and update function now. Lastly, to make our animation responsive, we will call the setup function, when user resizes the window, using the onResize event. So our JavaScript code is ready. Let's see the preview. As you can see, it is looking great. Our animation responds on window resize as well. To remove the white area, and hide the overflow, add style attribute to the body tag, and set overflow to hidden, and background color to black. The best thing about this animation is, you can control it, by changing the values in the parameter. So, here, our animation is ready. I will see you next time.